Ladies and gentlemen, young and old, reds around the world, today marks 65th anniversary of the Busby Babes, the Munich air disaster, the plane crashed, and the third attempt to take off to Manchester for munition. This is my memorial and remembrance as they meant a lot to my grandfather, to my father, has been passed through my DNA and myself. I want to take one minute silent, take off my hat and honor the ones that died. A broken heart, a broken dream, a broken plane, a broken team. No words were said, a silent vow. We love you then, we love you now. The red flag will always fly for Manchester United will never die. A minute silent for our fallen heroes it starts now. Thank you. Thank you for sharing the respect. I want to tell you what the Busby Babes has actually meant to me and my family, as it's been passed through generation from my grandfather to my father. And what better way to honor the fallen heroes with a snippet from the Glazes Out report that I did a few months ago. <laughs> Before we continue with our story, we need to understand what shaped our past, who created our values, our culture, our history, who died in that Munich blast. Glaze us out, we can scream and shout. You can take our money, but never raise our past. So they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. So hear us say to the Lord we pray, these are the people that made our DNA. We are glory, glory, man united. But I'm also family. My wife and children comes first. But after that, boy oh boy oh boy, it's Manchester United all the way. It's my everyday life. I live and breathe it, you know. It's been passed on, the DNA has been passed from my grandfather, who was a Busby Bay fan, and a massive admirer of Sir Bobby Charlton. <clears throat> you see, my granddad was at the game, the European Cup qualifier against Red Star Belgrade. That was back then, Yugoslavia. Of course, that is my heritage. United won that game by 5-4 on an aggregate. After drawing 3-3 in Belgrade, thanks for goals from Dennis Violet and Bobby Charlton doubles, those booking their place to the semi-finals of the completion, who was at the game before. <clears throat> now, the Munich air disaster occurred on the 6th of February 1958, when a British Airways Flight 609 crashed on the third attempt to take off. My grandfather never stopped talking about that game, never stopped talking about the disaster and also how grateful he was to watch United play and also his idols play. And he also talked about how grateful he was to see Sir Bobby Charlton score. He kept telling me these stories over and over again until he passed away 10 years ago. On the other hand, my father, who was a semi-professional footballer player, also back in Yugoslavia, 
Of course, my grandfather influenced him to like United and Sir Bobby Charlton, but he turned to George Best as that was his idol. And of course, George Best was the best. For me, I'm old enough to live through the greatness of Sir Alex Ferguson and the Fergie time era. I cannot lie, I keep hearing stories from my parents that, you know, Nico, they said, you didn't, the first words what you were saying when you were crawling in your diapers was not mom and dad, it was united. <laughs> like, quite funny story, but that is kind of why I, I owe it to my grandfather and my family and my fellow United supporters. It runs in my DNA, you know, my grandfather would turn in his grave if he knew what the Graces has done to his club. He would probably come back from the dead and reunite this revolution to spit hell, hellfire over him, to restore United the way it used to be. And this is one glory, glory Manchester United, the way we know. And this is why I'm doing this. Are you willing to join me? Are you? Are you willing to join me?